give us the origin story of Exodus and really why you decided to found this business and start it. And maybe even that leads into your beliefs in crypto, which I know you have such passionate beliefs about changing the world and making a better system for humanity. So yeah, give us that story. Absolutely. So it actually does start around, let's say, I don't know, 2014 or so with Exodus. And literally I was sitting on my couch. I was not wearing a unicorn costume and I was sitting there and I was, I don't know, probably my sweatpants. So I don't know why I distinctly remember watching Schindler's List. You know, he's sitting there, he's in the ring. I like, I'm just, I don't know why I'm watching Schindler's List and I have my laptop open and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I got to do some trades and maybe it's because Schindler's List is a dark movie and then I'm like, I got to do some trades. And so I'm on this exchange. I couldn't tell you which one I noticed. There is a coin, I think it was called Dark Coin, which now is Dash today, is Dash. And I was looking and on coinmarketcap.com, like it was going up and going down. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I'm going to start speculating on this. I'm going to buy a little bit and sell some later or whatever. I started doing that and I realized like, wow, this is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun to buy these assets and just kind of watch the price go up and down and, and do some speculation. This is a lot of fun. Now, on the side, I was already building a Bitcoin wallet mm. called Coinbolt. A lot of people don't know this because if, if you go and you Google Coinbolt right now, you will see the screenshots of Coinbolt and you will go, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. And <laughs> in fact, Coinbolt, B-O-L-T. Yes, yeah, Coinbolt. So, and I was also told at this moment, around this moment, that you'll never monetize a wallet. That's what I was told constantly by investors. You'll never monetize a wallet. You'll never find a way to monetize. Like, come on, the, a wallet stores money. Like, there's got to be a way to monetize. So my background is as an engineer. I'm a software engineer by trade. And so again, you know, fast forward here, I'm sitting on the couch and I'm speculating on these assets and I'm trying to figure this all out. And I knew my co-founder of Exus at this time, we weren't co-founders yet, mm -hmm. but my co-founder, he and I were talking and I said, I was trading some assets the other day, some Dash. And it's so complicated and even worse because of what happened with Mt. Gox, you have to leave your assets on an exchange or conversely, you have to download a number of individual wallets. You'd have to download mm -hmm. like I wanted to hold Bitcoin, Dash, whatever. I have to download a wallet for each one. And then if we start talking and we're like, well, wait a second, what if we could team up and we could build a desktop wallet, because at this time, nobody was building desktop wallets either. Everybody thought like, well, mobile's the future. In fact, one investor told us, he's like, if you're not building a mobile wallet, we don't want to talk to you. I'm like, <laughs> and again, remember guys, this is a time frame of 2014, 2015 and trading at that moment was on exchanges, right? And on exchanges, people, there were no mobile apps to trade on exchange. You did it on a desktop. So that's where we started. We're like, we're going to build an experience where a person can easily download Exodus, manage an entire portfolio of crypto, and then be able to swap from one to the other. And that's how this all started. And, and the swap part is, is actually how we make our money. But that's where it really, really began.